CNN's Keith Olbermann looks at the people who lost out. You're probably happy that a ballpark like Yankee Stadium here is busy again. You're happy because the baseball strike is over and the season is resuming. But for a lot of people, it's not a question of happiness. It's a matter of economic survival. Stan Martucci operates a souvenir shop across the street from Yankee Stadium. He was closed all during the strike. He lost a lot of revenue. At least $50,000. Conservative estimate. And that is money that perhaps you can recoup, but probably not. That's non-retrievable money. It'll never be recouped by me again. Next door, Joseph Bastone owns a bar and restaurant that did 10% of its normal business during the strike. He's given up on hoping for a profit this year. The only thing that we can hope is break even. No gains for 1981. No gains. Inside the park, vendors and souvenir stand people weren't as close to the edge, but times were still tough. Well, we lost 30, 30 games out of 80, which is about 40%. I lost that. You can't get it back, but the people are here, fans are here. They're buying. They'll come to the games. I have confidence. We have more people coming here this year than we did in the uh, late 60s when the Yankees were on the bottom. And with all this suddenly re-employed labor at and around Yankee Stadium, the ceremonial first pitch came appropriately enough from the Secretary of Labor, Raymond Donovan. So the hot dogs are being sold again at Yankee Stadium, so too the souvenirs and the beer. And a lot of people who look to Yankee Stadium for their living, a lot of people who almost lost their living during the baseball strike, they didn't, and they're back at work. Keith Olbermann, CNN Sports, outside Yankee Stadium in New York. Question, what 